food in. Watch your ears, ma'am. You got another one coming, JJ.
the director of the Department of Enterprise Services under Washington law and agency rules, you are directed to remove tents, shelters, structures, and other personal effects from Heritage Park immediately. Camping is not permitted in Heritage Park, Sylvester Park, Marathon Park, Centennial Park, or elsewhere on the state capitol campus. This portion of Heritage Park will remain closed until further notice for health and safety reasons. If you choose to remain, you may be subject to arrest for criminal trespass or obstructing a public servant. Please remove your property and depart from the park immediately.
begins and it's not where it ends, but you could end it. If you want to show them how to clear a park with one cop, you can do it. Have I not obeyed? When they move forward, I move back. Perfect. That's all we need. Right? We're not all right. We're not all right. We're not all right. It's absolutely unacceptable. It's not about my feelings. I understand what you're saying. Did you take a look at the NDAA that was passed this week by Congress? What it says is that anyone, including an American, can be arrested on American soil and they can be locked away indefinitely without a judge even signing off on them. All right? That is what this is about. We are marching down a path. You guys are going to have to figure out how to stop doing it the part that they are having you do. So do you understand what we give you a legal order? I do, I do understand what they're doing. you refusing to leave this part? I'm not refusing to leave this part. If you are advancing, I am backing up. I have that on tape. Did you hear all of the legal orders that you have been given to leave this part? Did you hear the orders to leave this part? I have heard that we have been ordered to leave this park. We are, we are also in an extraordinary situation. The nation will leave the park. We are not refusing to leave the park. You do not. Are you wanting to be arrested? Who wants to be arrested? I'm asking you, are you wanting to be arrested? I do not want to be arrested any more than any other person wants to be arrested. If you do not leave the park, you will be arrested. Do you understand that? I do understand that. Okay. I want to make that clear to you. Now what's with the weaponry? No, no. This, this is unusual. This is unusual. Something has changed in this country. If you guys are using quasi-military force for jobs that only require civilian police, why are you doing this? Why are you being ordered to do quasi-military force. That's not where I want. I'm doing something that I don't want. You all are going to have to figure out how to do something that you're not going to do, which is saying no to immoral orders. It is an, it is an important fact at this moment in history that the police figure out how to refuse immoral orders because the immoral orders have begun, but they have not stopped. They are going to keep coming and they're going to get worse. So, There's a law that says that we can be held against all our rights, but no evidence, no child, that's not worth fighting against. Four seconds, seven. Oh, that's not worth fighting against. So should we Okay. 
It wasn't me. It reminds me though. My wife was in the hospital. Right behind you, 
We went to one of the first orders of business tonight at General Assembly. Um, it's basically it's where we're, we're at. Good, I'm, I'm relying on the, you know, what you told me before. And I, I understand that if we apply for a permit, we'll be able to have tents and uh, Well, I think there's certainly a, a dialogue about how that occurs and what that would look like specifically what we would need to have. Uh, that would be termed as something of a political encampment. We'd have to have clear health and safety rules and things of that sort that we need to, need to dialogue about and, and, and figure out. Um, but there's certainly, uh, we certainly do uh, issue tent permits, permits for structures on the Capitol campus. It's fairly routine, especially multi-day ones. And so it's not something that's out of the range of the world or the planet of the universe or anything like that. It's just, it's a very simple process, yeah. actually. So that's, yeah, we're on page on that still, so that's good. So I'm, but I'm, I'm hoping... Just to let you know that you're dealing with a bunch of people where health and safety is... Top priority. <laughs> yeah, that's, what's that's good. why we're here. That's I think, why, you know, everyone's yeah. health and safety. That's yeah. why why we're all here. Yeah, and I think it's, so, it's fantastic uh, so far, and I'd like to... I'd like to just to stay kind of as the status quo as it is right now before anything new goes up or be, is erected until we can have further discussion your group can make decisions and, and know what all the all the ramifications are and discussion needs to occur uh, for anything else to erect. I really, you know, I've already had discussions about this first day tent and how valuable that is for the entire group and that I think is a really a safety uh, measure. I think that's something that should stay uh, for you guys is stay here even without a permit for now. I think that's a reasonable kind of thing that sounds good. You know, right. Well, that one, that one is a little bit different. That one's not necessarily as vital as the first, first aid tent. So, I mean, right now, I think until, you know, until the park closes, it, it's uh, later on today, which it does, it's not going to close, obviously, if you guys are here, uh, because you guys can stay here. That's fine with me. It's fine with us. It's fine with everybody. Um, but really, the tents are what are the real issue, because without the permit, uh, the tents become the, the problem. So... The, well, the food tent. starving in the food tent would be kind of a, a, a health issue as well, you know. Absolutely. Yeah, well, that's that's true, and that's something that I think that uh, further discussion can probably occur a lot. But right now, until yeah. dusk arrives, and you guys, after you guys uh, have your meeting, uh, if this is all the status quo, that it'd be nice to keep it this way. I don't think anything else erected here that it might become uh, a different situation, such as more tents and things like that. Until after you have a good, healthy discussion amongst yourselves, we're going to so, have a good, healthy discussion and I'm just trying to taking all my little notes so that I could at least when it's my turn to talk uh, bring concerns and bring I'm trying to make sure that I bring all the information that you're giving oh, sure. that you're uh, right and, and just and I'm just joking right now it's that status quo <laughs> keep using that term is it ain't what we're about I won't here. use you're right I won't I guess what I'm trying to say is that I'm kidding you know, I was no, hoping good. to make you laugh it's right? good I like I like to laugh but I think okay. that I, I just I, I'd be concerned if there are more structures that begin to be erected yeah. and the group hasn't had time to consider uh, what what could be possible and the ramifications from that I think you need to really think about that right now I'm saying you know what you have now out here this is, whatever you want to call this it let's just leave it there for now but I tell you I'm looking around I don't see any other structures at this time being good. erected so I don't think at this point until we have our general assembly tonight i don't think we have to worry about that well i'm saying canopies tents uh particularly uh camping tents are, are a huge problem uh but any really the definition you have to have a, you have a structure on campus uh, of any type really that's required for that type of activity uh, it's very easily filled out online there's a two-day waiting period for it. it's a very easy process i'm one of the administrators who actually works through that process we recently i don't know if many of you saw it or not but over in heritage park they issued a permit for a five-day activity over there where they had they had structures out there for multiple days the longest we can issue a permit is for 14 days at a time uh, per sponsor. Um, so you can have a structure out here in this park if you want to, as long as you just follow some very basic guidelines. Because we want to assist you. Yeah. We, we want to assist you. After 14 days. Yes. To do another well, you, it would have to be a separate sponsor uh, I'm, and things of that sort. So it can't be the same exact person. I'm, and I'm more than happy to hand my card out to whoever would like it. I'd in absence of us having a permit. If, if tents and other structures were to go up, what would a likely response be in the next Well, I can I can tell you, and, and this is Sergeant Kevin Bell, he's, he's going to be on, in charge tonight for the state patrol. Um, that, like the right now, there, there's no camping allowed in the park. I mean, that, that's the no, rule. That, that's I'm sure that on the sign, there's no camping around yeah. the park.
Okay, okay, okay. But but so if the, if there were camming hypothetically, what what could we expect as a response? Like would fines, or an arrest, or like what? I guess there's what what type of risk? Is or would you remove tents? Yeah. Physically, if people were unwilling to take their own tents down. Yeah. You know, and if for the lack of better term. Guys take care of each other. Yes. You know, that would be great. You know, That's what we're doing. We're here for safety. You know, um, we thank you for that. Yeah, absolutely. And, and we actually we encourage you guys to be able to use your, your right to you know, do a sit in or, or be here. Peaceably this, assemble. You know, it, absolutely. Okay. Just because we, this is, this is the yeah. people's park. So that's why Tony and I are here. We want to work with you. This guys. is the people's park. You heard him. Yeah. <laughs> work with you guys so that you guys for lack of a better term you may not like but kind of police your own you know because we don't we don't want to see have these issues we really don't but so we just want to we just want to work with you guys did tony just kind of share share the rules and then law with that okay so bottom line just just look out for each other I, what i'm sure. saying I think that all everybody here, no one here wants to see uh, anything, uh, you know, any, any any type of action that would be ungood for anybody. I think that that's the that's the thing we don't want. We don't want there to be any type of police action. We don't want any, anything like that to occur. I'm sure that we all want a reasonable solution to you guys being here and expressing your full rights to free speech. Um, and I think that that's that's really important for all of us. So. Can you know, we express it if we're asking permission like a state? Well, that's, I mean, it'd be, it'd be great. I mean, I'd, I'd be happy to, uh, there's, a, there's a written form to fill out for actual formal, like, formal what permission. What do we need permission to occupy? But so, well, you, you, you need it for your structures. I mean, you, you can stay here all night all you want to. You can stay here for the next 10 days without a shelter. But, but so, as long as you want. Is it, is it working days? But no, there's no restrictions. No if you don't have a permit, if you don't have a permit, you don't have any structures out, then you can stay here for... Whatever it is you're the question I wanted to ask is, I thought you said 14 days to me. Is that correct? That's Happy when you year? that's when you fill fill right. out a form. For a the next question is, is at at day 12 should we fill out another one for the next 14 days? Absolutely. With a new sponsor. It's online. Yeah. With a new sponsor. Separate sponsor. Yeah. Separate yes. sponsor. This yeah. all needs to be talked about at the general okay. assembly tonight, and I we have a lot of information from Tony. Your card, Tony. Your card. Yes. And uh, thanks, Tony. Sounds real workable. Well, I'd, I'd love to make it yeah. real workable, and I think like it can be, and I'm, I'm happy to give out my cards, too, for anybody who wants further information. Actually, what we have going on right now is, unfortunately, these uh, these times the business owner is unable to keep his business open, so he mm -hmm. came in today and let his employees know that he is no longer going to be able to employ them, and and they are upset and they're and they're demonstrating that right now, and that's okay. where we're at at this point. Okay, so these protesters are actually business. Uh, they were the employees. Employees, correct. okay. 